Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is episode 99 of my gameplay on No Man's Land. If this is what you're looking for, please stay tuned. Alright folks, welcome back to episode 99. So, uh, if you missed whatever happened to lead up to this, make sure you go rewatch the ending of the last episode. I apologize, it's been a while since I put an episode out. It's just been crazy busy with work for me. Um, and this is something that takes a lot of time usually to put an episode together. So, um, hopefully we can do this. I know it's weird having this come out on a Tuesday as well, and I apologize about that. But it just ended up being kind of something that would work out. Um, I think it's going to come out on Tuesday. If everything goes well and I get it done on time, that is. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. So, um, we arrested Ome. Ome's in the back of my car here, and the other guy, the manure guy, is going to be, well, actually, Ome is in the back of this car here. This is the other sergeant's car. The manure guy is going to get arrested and hauled away, uh, since we got this taken care of. Since this is going to be my case, uh, since this happened, I'm actually going to take, uh, the other sergeant's car, and they're going to deal with mine and get mine towed out of here. Um, so we're going to take it, and we are going to transport Ome up to jail, and then after that... We are going to go ahead and go talk to Diz about what happened or what the outcome was of this. So that's what we're going to do right now. But uh, yeah, so Ome sounds like it's just facing probably theft charges, based on my understanding, at least from what we found out and everything like that. There's no road up here, which is odd in itself. But anyhow, we'll get back down here. All right, we'll head over here. We'll get Ome booked into jail, and then we will go talk to Diz. I'm going way too fast. 136 miles an hour. Oh boy. Woo, that was <laughs> Oh, May's on <laughs> quite the ride right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go this way. Take the main This thing does stop pretty quick. That's good, at least. That's a start. Ooh, it's getting a little glitchy as we head into town here. <laughs> Hasn't had a chance to render it all in yet. Our money is way off, by the way. I, I was adding stuff and doing stuff to get things set up, so you can ignore the money. The money is not accurate at the top. All right, and let's go this way. And we should be right at the police department now. All right. Let's get Ome out of here. Get him booked into jail real quick. Whoo, holy glitcher, glitching and glitching here. Put Ome in there. There we go, get that closed up. All right, let's go talk to the Diz about the outcome. I think we should be able to get out. We'll just take the switch back and head up out this way. Is this road really that bumpy? I might need to fix it up a little bit. It's a little bumpy, it's not too bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's head up this way. <laughs> this, this this thing is still pretty bumpy, no matter how you look at it, but that's all right. Yeah, we'll go talk to Diz, let him know we got the guy responsible for everything going on. Oh, if we make it, that is. <laughs> there we go. And off we go. All right, and then we'll talk about other stuff, farming and all that good stuff, where the series is going from here and all that other stuff we got to talk about. We'll talk about all that today. So, uh, but first we'll deal with, uh, we'll do some, basically the, I guess the, what I'm trying to say is the plan for the episode is to do some police role play type stuff, which is what we're working on right now. And then after that, we will do some farming in the middle. And then we, I think we'll end with some more, a little bit more police roleplay at the very end. So this first part is just kind of a preliminary part to kind of pick up where we left off last episode. So yeah, if we head around here, that should take us down to Diz's place. There we go. And here we are. All right, well, I'll go talk to Diz and fill him in on what we had going on. All right, I spoke with Diz. He said uh, he'll take that up with when in court, and they'll deal with that stuff in court and take care of it all and hopefully get something figured out or whatever the case may be between him and Ome. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and head this way. 
we'll head back to the station and start working on some paperwork oh nope actually we are going to a collision um the reason we're going code to it it's a non-injury collision but i guess someone pulled in front of a truck driver one of lucky it sounded like lucky was driving the truck um and then brake checked him and it sounds like they're in an area where they shouldn't have even been passing anyways i guess lucky has dash cam video of what happened and in addition to that it sounds like the person's really agitated and uh, outside of their truck yelling at them so we're gonna try to get there pretty quick if we can just to try to square things away sounds like lucky's got a load of logs so yeah he's telling dispatch all this as we're going here all right and should just be up this yep there's a log truck right there all right yep there's someone outside the car okay let's go talk to them here all right, so I guess uh, Lucky was actually on his way to pick up the logs here at the lumber mill. So I guess that was misunderstood by dispatch. Um, but yeah, so I uh, actually had to take the person that was in the car here and I had to put him in the back of my car because they would not they would not calm down for me and they kept getting in my face. So I arrested them for obstruction for at least the time being. So we'll deal with that later. Hopefully I can just cite and release him here and not take him in. But the reason I did that is because I got to investigate this collision and all the other officers are tied up dealing with other stuff. So that's the only reason I'm out here. Uh, dealing with this but uh lucky showed me his dash cam video as well and it does look like they just sped around him and then he said they've been tailgating him for a while but i guess they sped around him on this road got in front of him and then just slammed on the brakes and he said he couldn't stop in time since they just pulled right in front of him so um anyhow we'll get some i guess lucky's truck is probably fine lucky's yeah there's there's a little bit of scrapes on there but this guy is pretty badly damaged on the back end so we'll have that car towed especially since they're in custody right now and then they will get a um a ticket or probably a citation for reckless driving so they'll get a site for obstruction reckless driving they'll go to jail for both of those misdemeanors for now and then uh, lucky is going to be good to go so he can just back his truck off and get out of here and then i'm actually just going to take them down to jail and then we'll deal with the car later on i know it's a miller road but it's secured up for now so uh lucky's good to go we got that squared away all right let's get this back this person back here oh she's just screaming at me in the back of the car i've had that before Oh, she's hitting her head on the... Nope, don't hit your head on that. Strap her back in a little bit further. There we go. Okay. She's hitting her head on the back of the window. She's not injured, thank goodness. I'll take her down to the hospital, but... Oh, it drives me crazy when people do that. All right. Oh, speaking of which, I'll tell a police story here. I think it's a good chance for that. I, uh, I had a collision I went to the other day where this guy that was drunk drove about probably 60 or 70 miles an hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. The roadway was wet, so it was slick. And he was driving so fast and he lost control. He had his friend in the car with him and his friend was trying to tell him to slow down. He lost control, went off the roadway and this is in a residential neighborhood. So thankfully no one got hit or hurt. He hit two parked cars. He launched one of the parked cars over a retaining wall into another parked car that was in the neighbor's driveway and then totally damaged and just destroyed his car and that car. Um, he didn't eject himself out of the car, which was surprising. Um, and he also hit the house so hard that he put a hole in their wall. So it was quite extreme. And I go up there and I start talking to him about it. And he admits that he had been drinking and he was still fairly drunk. So I got a warrant, draw his blood. And that was the end of that. So he's going to get charged with uh, DUI as well as reckless driving. Oh, man. Um, just craziness. All right. Well, um, we'll get her inside of a cell here. I'll, poor Omi doesn't want to deal with her screaming. I'll put her down here at the end. These are the nicest jail cells I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow okay uh, i'm gonna work on paperwork then i'm gonna head back out so i'm gonna be here probably for probably till eight or nine tonight because that's only five o'clock in game right now i'll probably be here for a while doing paperwork so i um, mean yeah, actually i probably should park my car somewhere not in the way um but yeah i'll be working on paperwork for a while so i'll probably see you guys just in the morning and we'll start doing some farming stuff as we continue on uh with the episodes so that's the plan let me just get this out of the way here actually this isn't even my car so i probably should leave the sergeant's car here since uh, he's not going to use it let me go i wonder if we even have any any other vehicles around here that i could take i don't think so that truck's broke down i can't i mean i guess i'll just take i guess i'll just take this home for now i don't think state's using it right now so we'll go ahead and take that home i'll yeah i'll make sure it all runs and everything perfect okay i'll just drive that home after now with the paperwork so yeah i'll get some paperwork going and i will see you guys tomorrow in the morning all right, welcome back everyone. It is the morning. We're just gonna plant over this, that's canola here. Um, last time, this is actually my second time recording at least the first couple minutes of this because, uh, yeah, my uh, computer actually, well, the game crashed because it said it had a bad memory allocation. So I'm watching it very closely. The memory's up now. <laughs> Normally I don't have to pay attention. I'm not sure how it got up that high because right now it's only using half the memory, but 
Oh, lordy. Anyhow. Oh, no man's land with my 15 billion placeables on here, it seems like. All right, we'll hire that guy to get going. Perfect. He will work on that. This field needs to be fertilized. Yep, okay. This is where it crashed last time. I selected this and I... Oh, so far so good. <laughs> All right, well, let's try that. Um, we'll get this guy fertilizing this field here. actually getting it all yeah okay he is he's doing it okay perfect so he's working on that um this field is going to get planted if we can go over here be easier to see it this field's going to get planted with uh canola as well uh so he's going to plow over that because it doesn't doesn't matter so we'll get canola here canola here um let's check on our animals so pigs holy smokes we got to sell some pigs i need to make a list of what i need to do in here let me grab a sticky note out sticky note pad out here so um actually let me use one of my other sticky note pads that I don't normally use one of my fancy ones not really fancy it just for me it's fancy it's uh it's one with lines on it that's a fancy sticky note for me guys that's that's the kind of life I'm living is a fancy sticky note has lines on it <laughs> oh goodness sell pigs uh I'll put fertilized fields because that needs to be done as well and plant canola because that obviously needs to get finished up um cows they're still going they're not maxed out they go to 500 um so actually today is the day we are going to deliver back the 100 cows for Pape chin or Pape chin Pape chin Pape chin something like that uh so i need to get rid of those and then we'll get paid out a hundred thousand because we we're taking care of them for them so or 50 cows yeah 50 cows so um i'll put that down to do that also, we are going to role play delivering the last of Darren Duel's wheat. We delivered 56,000 liters out of the 224, so I'll put deliver wheat down here at the bottom so we can finish that contract because it's episode 99. Next episode's a special, which you guys are going to love, by the way. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Let's see what we have in the. Yeah, so we have plenty of wheat, <laughs> wheat, barley, oats. Let's go back to animals. Pigs are. They're doing. Um, they're doing just fine on food. Actually, what we need to do is feed them the pig feed. So feed pigs first before we sell pigs. So feed pigs first. And then if we drop down to cows, we're trying to get rid of that. So we're not going to do anything here. They could use some more straw. What are they doing on straw? Actually, yeah, let's do straw. Straw for all the animals. Um, our horses are doing, they need some, looks like, oh, they got one. They breeded one, productivity. Uh, maximum of two horses. Yep. So we got one out of there and that one is ours. So that one is ours. So we need to go sell a horse. So sell a horse. And I think we will return, um, we'll return, um, Diz Farmer's horse to him and his trailer. So we'll probably return. I'll write that down. Return Diz's horse and trailer to get that done and then sheep are doing just fine and the animals will be taken care of at that point so yeah i'll stick with this guy because he's gonna finish this up here in a second but uh yeah i think that's what we got going on so basically a lot of the farming stuff is going to be done uh, well we can probably do some of it with you i chat with you guys here um what i need to do is grab let's get in this truck here actually let me do this Hopefully the game doesn't crash or do anything crazy against me again or anything like that. There's our Crown Vic. I drove it back over here. Let's get the pig food put in because if you guys haven't seen this trick, I'm sure if you've been watching this series from the beginning, you've seen it or if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm sure you've probably seen it, but um, let's hook up. Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad hookup. <laughs> just rammed the trailer. <laughs> um, let's just back up to here. There we go. And you guys might be wondering, well, what is the deal? It's been a couple weeks now since uh, an episode's come out of No Man's Land. What's happening uh, after episode 100? Well, we're going to go into episode one of No Man's Land on this map. We're not restarting. Don't get me wrong. We're not restarting. We're not destroying this farm or anything like that. Um, it is going to be season two of No Man's Land um, where stuff is going to go a little bit differently. You guys will be able to once again, hopefully put in some subscriber contracts at that point. Um, and do different stuff like that. How much? We have a lot of pigs, a lot of pig food. Um, so do some different stuff like that. Um, Oprah is done. You ain't done. 
over to that. Yeah, let's... I know you think you're done. I believe that you think you're done, but let's get you going. See if you'll... He should be able to finish up that. No, he's already... <laughs> Takes hardly any time at all to plant those fields with such a massive. I mean, that cedar really is absolutely massive. I think it's like 30 meters, isn't there? Something crazy like that. Let's hop back down here. He's still filling up. So, um, where is it going? Yeah, so we're going to do season two, episode one of No Man's Land, um, starting in a couple of weeks. So, there'll probably be a little break from it after episode 100 comes out. I will be. Oh, it's going to be tough because I'm going to. I'm now going to kind of run into the, the point where I get too many series going on because we have griffin indiana right now no man's land season one uh spectacle island and i have that's only three right now i guess i which, which i mean that's a lot i try not to do i mean it, my live griffin indiana doesn't really count as much because it's only for live streaming really um so that that series will keep going just because i always have probably a live series that's separate from what i'm doing otherwise but uh yeah so i don't know and i have two other series ideas that i want to get going um, one of them I'm working on setting up. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I might have to... We'll see. We'll make it work. We'll make something work. I might put a couple of those series on the back burner. One of them's easier to do, so I don't know. Season two of this is going to go on, so I might have to wait till Spectacle Island ends. That is so much pig food there. Good gravy. we got to clean that up before I can even get this, get this back into it. So he's down over there. Perfect. Actually, that is something the animals probably do need to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, they're thirty percent, sixteen percent. Yeah, we'll clean we'll clean the animals up real quick. I'll do this while you guys are in there. Once we get the pigs taken care of and squared away, uh, then I'll put a cut. And I'll bring you guys back in after we get some of this stuff done, and then we're not going to worry about it. Actually, actually, we don't even. Part of me doesn't even. I don't even think. I think after I get this field done, we'll probably harvest these two fields today. But I don't think I'm going to plant this one. I'm not going to worry about it just because I know what's coming and it, it won't make sense with what's coming for me to plant that. So you just have to bear with me and understand that I have it under control for prep for season two. So, um, yeah, I'm tempted. I don't know if I'm going to do this. I don't know. I mean, let me know down in the comments you guys think. I'm not sure if I want to restart um, the episode numbering system or just go episode 101 and keep going from there. Um, I'm just not sure. But we'll see. I might be nice for some people to start fresh on it. So I think I might be maybe doing just episode one. I think that might be something to do just kind of to intro into it. Um, that way, if someone does is new to the channel and they don't want to have to watch all. I mean, it's I think if you enjoy the series, you'd probably want to watch from the beginning to see how it built up. But um, the second season is going to be in such a way or done in such a way where it's different enough and it's new enough where you don't have to have seen all the other 100 episodes um for it to you know for you to yeah you know what i mean some i'm saying some things <laughs> but you'll be able to start off from what i'm trying to say is you'll be able to start off in season two at the first episode in season two and not be missing out on anything is what i'm trying to say so that's the that's the goal of it i think season two will still be i think that one will just be an episode a week kind of keep doing what we're doing um, or maybe we'll do more. I don't know. It just kind of depends. We just kind of got to play it by ear and see how it goes. We'll get that dumped into there. And then we should have... I'm worried that's going to be full, though. So, actually, let's go deal with the pigs first. Because I think that's going to get full here in a second. I mean, there's only a little bit left in there. But that'll be a good start. We have so many animals. It takes hardly anything to... Or there's so much food out here. There's so much stuff that just gets dumped out. I mean, that's 5,000 liters right there. We probably have 15 to 20,000 liters of pig food out here just because of that, which is crazy. Let's get this put into here. There we go. All right. Fantastic. Drop this guy down. <laughs> so much, so much pig food. <laughs> um, actually, you know what? We're just gonna start dumping it in. I don't know why I didn't do that before because we're, we're gonna, honestly, our goal is to pull it all out of the silo anyways and put it in here. So, all right, let's take a look. Pigs, we go into here, pigs. 
look at all this stuff in here. So these are gonna get topped out. This is gonna start going up. Once these three green ones are topped out completely, this is gonna be the only thing or only place it has to go. So it should theoretically allow that to just go straight up, which maybe it's gonna let it do it, maybe it won't. And of course it might even take just a lot to, to top those ones out, so we'll see. We have made so much progress in this uh, series. It's been absolutely crazy. I mean, if you think about, I mean, I know we don't have a ton of money in the bank right now. I mean, we have $360,000, but um, think about how much equipment and how many buildings we own. Just think about our assets on this farm. We own so much stuff on here. It's crazy. Yeah, just crazy. I mean, the amount of harvesters we have is just hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars. We probably have, we probably have four or five million dollars in just harvesters, and that's not including tractors and all the other good stuff we have. So, craziness. All right, there we go. Get a sip of coffee, of course. My coffee's starting to get cold. I'm gonna need to fix that. All right, so it should top those ones out and then start going towards the rest of the stuff or going towards here mostly. It does look like a decent amount is going in there anyways just because of, uh, well, obviously the other ones are getting close to full. There we go. That's full, that's full, that's full. Now it's all going into here because it has nowhere else to go. Theoretically speaking, it's going super slow though, but it is all going into there and that's kind of the the trick to the trade right there That's uh, so if you can grow because these are super expensive Well, not I guess not super expensive to well I mean they would be if you had like a placeable but these things are easier to grow and put in here These are obviously super cheap as far as how much growing them and stuff like that So um, if this is the only category left the most expensive crop types in order to get 100% effectiveness, um, this is definitely worthwhile to do it kind of this way. So now we got that in there. Now we can go grab the rest of our pig food. And we can grab it out of our silo. Sorry, I just drove through Jason and Kyle's little lawn there. Uh, we'll grab the rest of it out of the silo and then we will put it into the pig pen. We should have like another, I don't know how much in here, 38,000 liters, that's pretty good. So we'll grab that and put that in there. And that'll be fantastic. And then I can sell off all the extra pigs and then they will be really set to go with food for a long time. So um, yeah, because especially if I sell, I'll probably end up selling two trailer loads. What is our trailer hold? 56, 112. I'm pretty sure that's what our trailer holds. Um, we have, yeah, this guy right here, 56 cows. How many pigs? Oh, 64 pigs. So it sells 64 pigs at a time. So I'll probably do two full loads of pigs. Um, which would be perfect for us. Yeah, let me know how you guys have liked this series so far. I mean, you guys seem to en enjoy it. I still get, it still gets at least, well, I don't know how this is gonna, one's going to go over, but it did always get quite a few views um, as we went through the series. There's a lot of you that have been following it from the beginning or pretty darn close, or um, you caught on late, but you've caught up to this point, which is awesome. You guys are incredible um, watching all that. Because if each of you watched every episode one time, I mean, and and that's after we do the next episode here of episode 100, that's 100 views per person that's watched this, uh, which is crazy. So if there's 2,000 of you that watch the series regularly and have watched all 100 episodes, that is 200,000 views on this channel, which if you really think about it, that is quite incredible. So thank you guys for that, for being so supportive of the channel. Um, this The... Special is going to be fantastic. It's going to go through all of our progress on here and everything like that. And you guys are going to absolutely love it, especially if this is a series that you've been with from the beginning. And you, if you're like me and you have a bit of an, maybe an emotional attachment to this map in this series a little bit, um, then you'll really enjoy that. So um, I think it'll be it'll be good for us to go through that. So that'll be double fertilized. That's good. Um, I'll have him go fertilize that after he's done there. All right. And then if we go to our pigs again. They have 217,000 liters there. So once we sell off... Uh, stuff it'll make it a lot better and I'm tempted actually to go 
buy pig food we don't really need it it'll be fine we'll just go for it so yeah i'll get stuff taken care of i got a long list of to-dos here for the farm so i'll get all these to-dos done and then i'll bring you guys back in um, and we'll talk a bit about where we're at. I'll probably bring you guys back in when it's time to harvest, which may or may not be today. Either, either be today or tomorrow in game. Um, and then we'll do some police role play to kind of close out episode 99. Um, talk about a few more things and then we will call it good there. So I will see you guys later on. All right. So it is morning. We're going to get some of this stuff rolling here. I'm going to get this guy working on this field and then I'll grab our other harvester to get going on the other field here in a second. All right, so let's get this going here. Now, I did get the, I sold off 128 pigs, and well, it's been two days now since before stuff was ready to harvest because we had rain and stuff. So uh, we're already back up to almost 500 pigs again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So I need to sell more of those guys off. Uh, we're making a lot of money off the pigs right now. But, uh, yeah, so our money's gone up significantly. We made 176000 off the remaining uh, wheat that we needed to deliver. And then, obviously, we made 100000 off of Papa Chen's contract. So we've been doing just honestly fantastic. So fold that, and we'll get this corn header. We'll just drop it off out here since we're not obviously using it right now. There we go. Okay. Let's go this way. We'll get this guy set up on, um, I'll have him work on the small field, I think, and then he'll join up on the other field. A sip of coffee there, now that I heated it back up. <laughs> Slow down there, get that guy disconnected. There we go. This guy turned around properly. And we'll get our grain bin good to go. I think that's how we'll unload these guys since we have that set up. All right, so let's get the grain bin set here. Um, I didn't want that one. Sorry, I wanted the 9RX. We'll go grab our grain bin, which I actually don't remember. It's, oh, it's parked over here. That's right. I know where it's at now. Yeah, we'll take our 9RX around here. No, oh, it's already hooked up to the case. Well, never mind. We'll just park the 9RX right here. Not worry about it. There we go. Fantastic. Okay. So we'll use this, obviously, to unload harvesters as we go. And that's basically what I'll be working on. So... Uh, I'll probably what will probably end up happening the next cut. I'll put in I don't want to drive over those crazy hills there um, The next cut I put in geez, so much pig food everything needs to be taken care of again. I don't want to do it <laughs> uh, I might need some of it as we get along with the harvest, but uh, yeah, so I'll put another cut in I will finish up the harvest I'll let you guys know what we got from it when we're done But then we'll close out with some uh, police role play kind of in the second part of the episode uh, And finish out with some of that at the very end and I think that'll be the plan so How's he doing? Yeah, we're gonna get a ton off of this. My oh gosh, my guess would be 150,000 liters. That might be a bit much, but it'll probably be quite a bit. But anyhow, let me hop back down to this guy. So yeah, I will go ahead and I will hang out. I will get the harvest done and then I'll bring you guys back in after it is completed. So I'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, welcome back. So. <laughs> Um, I was way off on the canola. If we go into the menu here, 240,000 liters uh, off of these two fields alone. So, yeah, we got it all done. Good to go. Um, yeah, that's good. We got our canola done. That is the last of the farming in season one. Believe it or not, that is the last of it in season one. Obviously, we'll do a lot more farming because well, we're playing farming simulator, so it kind of makes sense. But uh, we're going to head in. I'm just going to do some paperwork today. We don't have any calls to respond to or anything like that. Uh, I'm just going into work to do some paperwork. So that is the entire goal. Um, I did hear some interesting news um, about uh, what happened between Diz and Ome. So we're going to go over to Ome's shop. I heard that Diz is over there now, now I guess. So um, I heard I only heard part of the story, but I guess something about Diz dropped the charges. So I'm just I am curious, but I don't know why. I don't know. We'll just go over there. We'll talk to him. But uh, yeah, we'll go over there and see. 
I guess that is at only shop right now, so. Okay. Well, that's new. New sign. They used to have a sign up there. Oh man, Diz Farmer's Manure Shop? Well, that's definitely a little bit different. All right, well, I will, uh, I am, I am very curious about how this is going to go. Let me go talk to them and see what they got going on. All right, so, uh, yeah, they're in business together. Very interesting. So I guess what happened, um, yep, they decided to drop the charters and go into business to make a better business together, so that's nice. Now, uh, Ome's friend, if you will, the one that he didn't know was off doing really crazy things in town and stuff like that, um, the guy that we got in the pursuit with, he is still being charged with several crimes. He's been charged with criminal littering, which is a misdemeanor. He's been charging with malicious mischief first degree, which is a felony, and two counts of felony eluding the police. So he's going to be cha charged with two counts of that. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that's what we got going on. That's the end of that for us today. I'm not going to abruptly end it there. Don't worry. That's not like, oh, that's the end of the episode, guys. Um, it, it, we're about to the end, but... Uh, we're going to go over to City Hall and we're going to talk about a couple things about this series. You guys are very invested in this. Um, I have a lot of hours, hundreds of hours in this gameplay save alone. Um, I think something like a sixth, a sixth, that's one over six of my total hours in Farming Simulator on this save, which is nuts. There's nuts. Um, so, yeah, here we are. Why is there two next to that? I feel like I, I feel like I remember why, but I don't remember why anymore. But anyhow, that is our current government. They have some things in the works to make this place a better town. Um, since it's been just delayed and it's been kind of crazy, um, their term will still go on for another couple of episodes. Um, as we go into season two, the government will still be around. We're still going to do governmental things um, as much as you guys, as long as you guys are still interested in it. Um, the police roleplay side of things will stop, so I will no longer be doing calls for service. So that I know is going to make some of you guys a little sad, which I understand. It's just it is a lot of work for me. If I'm going to be able to manage, especially now that I have Spectacle Island going and I have a new series that I'm planning that is going to take a lot of time as well, I need to be able to make this a series. If we're going to do season two of it, it needs to take less time. It's still going to take a lot of time for me to do it because you'll see uh, some of the things. There's going to be some new aspects to it that are coming that I'm not going to share yet with you. Um, some new fun things coming to it in season two um, that you guys will see, obviously, when we get there. Now, um, yeah, so the government's going to keep doing their thing. I will no longer be taking calls for service. I will start again taking subscriber contracts on the farm. I will let you know when I'm going to start taking those, and it will be all done through Discord. If you don't know what Discord is, it's a free app you can download and be a part of. Um, you can join my Discord. I think we have over a 1,000 people on it now um, on my Discord, where you can talk with other people that are in the community, kind of the tight-knit communities in there. Um, and everything like that. And there's some different stuff. And if you're new to this and you want to still own a business on here, um, I probably won't do any more businesses just because, and it's not because I don't want to, I actually would love to do more businesses, but honestly, um, the, the map, I don't, I can't keep doing, I can't keep adding stuff in here. It's just, it's too much for the map right now. Um, so we're going to hold off on the businesses for now. Um, it just is what it is. I might even have to pull certain aspects of the map off, but if you still want a house, we still have plenty of houses that are going in up here that I think I think most of these up here don't have any owners per se. I think maybe, I think down here is full, but I don't think any of, some of these over here have them. That's right. So a lot up there uh, still going on. We'll still expand and do some different stuff um, and different aspects of the everything going on as we go through everything. Um, but for now, that is the end of this. Uh, I don't know when season two will start, um, it will start at some point. We will get that going as, as soon as I can actually get it going and get it going the way I want it to get going. But yeah, so just to sum things up again, the government will continue. The role play on the town will continue. You guys will all still have your businesses and everything like that. And you can still hire me for services and there'll still be a lot of that aspect. Storylines here and there will come up and I love that. We'll keep doing all of that fun stuff. The only thing that's really going to change is um, the police role play is going to end. That's the main change. Um, and then obviously there's some new big changes that are going to come to change the series completely. Um, maybe not completely. Obviously, some of you guys would be like, okay, that's not really a big deal. But some of you guys would be like, oh yeah, that is a big deal. So we'll see. Um, we're going to change up some different things that are going on here and there'll be a different kind of storyline coming in and everything like that. But that's the plan. Um, for now, though, that's what I got for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.